So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you're gonna quickly turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're gonna repeat this three times. So you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you're gonna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you're gonna click on advanced options. And now once you're on this, I'm gonna show you some methods that we can try to fix your problem. So for the first method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. And now hopefully this will fix your problem. If not, you're gonna click on advanced options. And now for the second method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options again, and now we're gonna go with system restore. If there's been any restore points created in your system, then you're gonna click on next and then go back to your restore point. This should now fix your problem. If not, we're gonna click on cancel. And now for the next method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, then we're gonna go with startup settings, and then click on restart. And now once you're on this, we're gonna enable safe mode. So you're gonna click on either four or F4 on your keyboard. So click on four or F4, wait for this to load. And now once you're in safe mode, you're gonna head over to search and type in control panel, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on programs and features. And then you're gonna click on view installed updates. You're gonna try uninstalling the latest Microsoft update for Windows that you've done. Then you want to uninstall this. Now as it's uninstalling, you're gonna head over to search and type in device manager, click on it. And now if you previously updated any of your drivers through here, then you just wanna roll back the driver. For example, if you've been in device manager before and then you updated your graphics card drivers, you're gonna right click on your graphics card and then click on properties and then click on driver, and then click on rollback driver if it lets you. But yeah, you just wanna uninstall one of these. Now once you uninstall that, you just wanna restart your computer. It will then take you back to Windows, and then hopefully the problem will now be fixed. If that's still not working, you wanna come back to this screen, like I showed you how to do at the start of the video. Now once we're here, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and now we're gonna be going with uninstall updates. This is a more robust version of what we just went through in the last method. So now you can uninstall the latest quality update or the latest feature update. It's up to you what you're gonna go with, I'm gonna be doing feature updates. And then click on uninstall. See if that works for you. If not, we're gonna close this out. And then you can try to uninstall the other one if you want to. And now for the next method, you're gonna go with troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now once you're on this, you're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild bcd. Click on enter, wait for this to load. And now you're gonna go with bootrec space forward slash fix mbr. Click on enter again. And now you're gonna go with bootrec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. And now you're gonna type in exit, click on enter again. Now you just wanna continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. And now for the last method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot and then reset this PC. If you have your files backed up, you're gonna go remove everything. If you don't, you're gonna go with keep my files. Reset your PC, hopefully this will not fix your problem.